We got some massive news for super microcomputer stock investors after the stock market closed on election day, November 5, 2024. The company reported preliminary financial results and provided an update on the investigation and the late filing of its financial statement, as well as search for a new auditor. All of that, all of that information and investor reaction has sent the stock price down more than 10% following these results. Of course, I told investors to avoid super microcomputer stock, that it was too risky with all of these allegations swirling around, and I updated that recommendation on October 30th. So following these results, I'll update my rating again, and I'll let you know if it's now safe to buy super microcomputer stock, or if you should still avoid it. Also, I'll touch on why the stock price is follow falling following these results. So let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so Supermicro Computer reporting preliminary first quarter of fiscal year 2025 results. And the company expects to report the following results. Net sales in the range of roughly $6 billion dollars. Previously, the company told investors that sales would come in between six and seven billion or six and a half billion at the midpoint. So these current preliminary results are 500 million below what previously was forecasted by the company, demonstrating a couple of things. Either number one, the company is losing out on sales because of the investigations and the concerns about the integrity of its financial statements, or the company adjusted its reporting to deliver more modest sales numbers and not overstate sales numbers that previously may have been overstated. I don't know that yet. I don't know the answer to that question yet. I will know more when the company reports financial information, not preliminary financial information, files its annual statements, and reassures investors that all of the numbers that they reported going back the last few years are indeed accurate and they do not need to be revised lower. The company also reporting gap, gap net income per share of 69 cents at the midpoint. That's in line with previous expected guidance from the company who told investors to expect something in the range of 60 cents to 77 cents at the midpoint of about 68 cents per share. So right about in line with expectations. But remember, profitability was not the category that investors were concerned with super microcomputer. In fact, it had been reporting, well, profitability is one of the things, but revenue was the bigger thing that investors were concerned with super microcomputer. There was concerns that it was recognizing revenue earlier than it should be or over recognizing revenue it earlier than it should be. So these results are a little bit worse than what investors were expecting. And the reasoning behind that is unsure at the moment. The company expects to report that it has cash and equivalents of about $2.1 billion and debt of about $2.3 billion with bank debt comprising approximately $600 million and conver convertible notes of about $1.7 billion. Now, the highlight here, this financial information is preliminary and may be subject to change. Regardless, the company's financial results are sending the stock price down over 10% following this announcement. One of the reasons why the stock price is down is because of the lower sales number. That's one factor driving it lower. Let me share with you the other factors that are driving it lower. So the company giving us an update of the independent special committee investigation the committee has completed its investigation based on a set of initial concerns raised by EY, its auditor. Following the three-month investigation led by independent counsel, the committee's investigation to date has found that the audit committee has acted independently and that there is no evidence of fraud or misconduct on the part of management or the board of directors. This should be reassuring to investors who were concerned that the company committed some kind of fraud or misconduct. EY, remember, in their resignation letter, stated that they were concerned 
about the integrity of the financial statements. They were concerned about the transparency from management. So the audit committee here is stating that they have not found any evidence of fraud or misconduct. Now, this does not clear them completely just yet, but it's a good update for super micro computer stock investors. This was a little curious to me. They say that the committee expects to deliver the full report on the completed work this week or next week. But then they say the special committee has other work that's ongoing, but it expects to be completed soon. Other work? When you have such an important topic right now, this topic has caused super microcomputer stock price to fall so significantly and it's causing so much investor concern. You would think this would be the only thing they have going on, but it looks like they have some other work going on that's more important. What is that work? I would like to know because that seems concerning to me that you're paying attention to anything else other than this ongoing thing because this ongoing thing has caused the valuation of this company to drop to crater by so much that you need to stop this bleeding. And if if I'm an investor in super microcomputer stock, which I'm not, remember, let me share with you again, I uh, rated this stock as a sell and I updated that recommendation on October 30th saying to stay away too risky with all of these concerns going on that this is not a time to invest in super microcomputer stock. Wait for the information to come out. Wait for reliable information that you can make decisions on because right now, what's the information that we decide on? We don't really know because we don't know if the previous numbers need to be changed lower, revised lower. And so therefore, are we investing in a company with much smaller revenues, much smaller profit and cash flow? We don't know yet. So it's too risky. I told investors to avoid. So an update on their form 10K, which is still late. They still haven't filed this. That's why I say this is so important. They're behind schedule here. The company continues to work diligently on matters related to their 10K for the fiscal year ended June 30th, but remains unable at this time to predict when it will be filed. Not only are they late, but they don't even know when they're going to be able to file this report. After all this time, they don't even know when they can file this report. That's really troubling. This is one of the primary reasons also why the stock price is down following this update. This Form 10K was due on August 29th, and the company filed a Form 12B25 on August 30th to ask for more time for the company to report the financial statement. So August 29th, it was due. So you've had all this time, probably before even August 29, they knew they were going to miss the deadline. So you've had September, October, and here we are in the first week of November, two months and a week to come to terms with this financial statement. And it's still behind schedule. And you don't even know when you're going to file this statement, but yet your special committee has other work that's ongoing that they're not fully allocating their time to this. Um, not very good here. Not very good news on this one. So on the one hand, you got some good news with them saying that the committee didn't find any fraud or misconduct. On the other hand, you get this part here where they say, look, we're still not filing this 10K. We don't know when we're going to file it. So just keep waiting and we'll let you know when the company does actually file. So, of course, by not filing their financial statement, they're at risk of getting delisted from the NASDAQ. They've already gotten a warning letter and the company intends to take all necessary steps to achieve compliance with the NASDAQ continued listing requirements as soon as possible. This is a lesser concern whether or not they get delisted or listed. I've talked about this extensively. This is a consequence of what's happening at the business uh, symptom not the cause. What you want as an investor is to focus on the cause. And the cause that's concerning is the reliability of their financial statements. If you can't rely on their financial statements, if they were skewing their financial statements to make their revenue and profit look better than it should have been, that's what's concerning. That's what you're investing in. And if you're dealing with the management team that you can't trust, 
then that raises even more questions. So whether or not it's in the NASDAQ or not, I'm not concerned about that part. So following this release, the stock price is down 10%, making the valuation a little better. But I still can't make a decision on this company because I don't know if the financial statements are accurate. The financial statements, their accuracy, their integrity are under question. And the company is not helping by further delaying the reporting of their financial statements. So until I get more information, until I have information I can rely on, I just will avoid this stock and I will recommend this stock as a sell because we don't know what the financial numbers are. We don't know what we're investing in. And if we're dealing with a management team that is, let's say, less than fully transparent, that even raises the risks even further. It's already risky making an investment in a stock. And then you have extra risk if you're dealing with the management team that their numbers are not reliable. Now, we don't know for sure what's going on just yet, but all the evidence continues to point to worse directions for super micro computer. And it just keeps on spiraling downward for this business. Hopefully you will have avoided this stock. This is not one where it's like, oh, let's buy this on the dip. It's a buying opportunity. I don't think that's the case. Of course, there could be reports that come out that clear super micro computer of any wrongdoing and reiterate the integrity of the financial statements. But until that happens, I don't think it's prudent to make an investment in this company. There are many, many other companies that deserve your capital more so than this one. Hey everyone, if you like watching my videos, then I've added a great complimentary product just for you. I've created a book, I've written a book that's available for sale now that highlights my six step investing framework. Even if you don't follow that investing framework, just reading it and knowing how I evaluate stocks will make it a lot more interesting and informative to watch my videos. I've added the link in the description below.